Hello there, here is a quick demo of the KPM bookkeeping module. When you first enter the bookkeeping module, you'll be met with a main VAT summary. And on the side here, you've got your general settings. On the bottom, you'll have your list of clients. Once you've selected your client, you'll be met with a main client dashboard where you'll see your sales and purchases of the month as well as your debtors and creditors charts. Beneath the client dashboard, we've got KPM Pay, which is a payment as a service provider where you and your client, if you give them access, can send out invoices through email and then their clients can make payments through that email. Beneath that, we've got the sales section where we have a more in-depth dashboard for your sales and debtors. Next, we have invoices where you can add your invoices individually or have the option to bulk import your invoices using a CSV file. Beneath invoices, we've got quotations, which then turn into invoices, and then you're able to send them to your clients via email. We also have a reoccurring invoices area where you can set out how frequent you want to send out these invoices. Beneath that, we have receipts where you can match them off to invoices, as well as to be added to net off against. Beneath the receipts, we have items where you're able to add your items individually or have the option to bulk import your items using a CSV file. Beneath, beneath the sales area, we've got the purchase section, which has a similar structure to sales. It has its own dashboard, its own purchase area, or you can add your purchase individually or bulk import them using a CSV file. It has its own recurring purchases as well as a payments area. Here, we also have a feature called CapiScan, which allows you to use your mobile phone to take photos of your bills and receipts, and then they are automatically inputted into KPM, minimizing any potential loss of receipts and errors of both bills and receipts. Next, we have the quick entry area. Here is where you'll be able to net off receipts as well as payments. You here, you also have the option to bulk import your entries using a CSV file. Beneath Quick Entry, we've got your fixed assets where you'll be able to add, track, and edit the depreciation of any assets, whether that's a fixed line or a reducing balance. Beneath that, we've got the inventory area where you'll be able to view your list of inventory. And beneath that, we've got tasks where you'll be able to add your journals as well as make any bulk edits to your invoices. Beneath tasks, we've got bank, where you'll be able to add all of your bank accounts, where you can then automatically import these transactions from your bank account using TrueDayer. Now we can move all the way to the MTD section. And so bookkeeping filters through into VAT, the sales purchases will automatically flow through, making it easier for you to submit your VAT returns. We also have bridging VAT if you'd like to do this manually. And on the bottom here are your VAT settings where you're able to choose your VAT schemes as well as your VAT submit type. Next, we can move to the CIS section where you're able to add in your subcontractors. Beneath that, you have your reports area where you'll be able to view reports on your customer, supplier, your financial reports, as well as any additional reports can be viewed from here too. And lastly, we have the logs area where you'll be able to view all the changes that have been made by the users, as well as all emails that have been sent out. So that is the KPM bookkeeping module. Thank you for watching.